I, you're super dark, dude. That's Sorry? Pleasant. Your, your, your face is dark. Oh, there we go. That's, that's improving. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I'm still nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai. These are our guests, Shara Kirk, Julie Robinson, Hope James, and Sumit Yay! from TVF, Tripling, uh, Permanent you. Roommates, and Parched the Movie. <laughs> I'm the only one here who has seen all three of those, and I gotta say, you are fucking amazing, dude. <laughs> like, you, you have so much range, it's, it's mind-blowing. I know you don't know who Julie is. We did a reaction to Tripling, and mm. so she saw Parched and Tripling. And then Achara, as you know, saw Permanent Roommates 1 and 2 in tripling. And, tripling. and Hope James, she only saw Permanent Roommates. I hate you. <laughs> I'm kidding, not really. I love you. <laughs> Hi. So, how is your day going, sir? Uh, it's going very well. I'm sorry I got a little late because uh, Mumbai, the traffic is horrible. And uh, no matter how much you plan in advance, you still get stuck. So, I got stuck coming here. Okay. Uh, so I'm sorry I got a little late. Hey man, okay. it's all good. I wanted to ask, how did you get involved with Parched? Because that was such a cool movie. I loved it. I don't know if you got a chance to see the review that I put out, but I loved what you did in it, and I, and I thought the movie was great. Like, I was just wondering how you got involved with it. Uh, initially, I met Lena Yadav, the director of the film. Uh -huh. And uh, when we started off talking to each other, it sounded like it's going to be a small indie film. But the project was so interesting because she said, Russell Carpenter is going to be shooting the film. Uh, Russell Carpenter is someone who shot Titanic and oh, True wow. Lies. Wow. Uh, he's like an Oscar-winning uh, cinematographer. We're getting Skype issues. Yeah, it's just Skype. Um, okay, so, so I was really I'm excited sorry. to be part of that. The, the Skype is going in and out a little bit. Sorry, I apologize. I think you're back uh -huh. though. You, you're just a little uh -huh. pixelated. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> is it any better? Like, I think so. Is it better now? It's, it's better now. Audio is just okay. a little delayed. That's all. Uh, I'll try to fix it later on in post. <laughs> Do you have a favorite uh, Permanent Roommates episode? Currently, my favorite is the last episode of the second season. Yeah. Yes. Just, like, everything just came together in the last episode. Yeah. Uh, you made season. sense in the last episode. <laughs> everything yeah. came full circle. Uh, <laughs> Hope finally got on board with Team Mikesh. <laughs> like, the whole time, she's like, I don't get it. And then anyway. she's like, I yeah. get it. Did you see any of the reactions? I did see the reactions. You don't oh, have to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I forgot that was on camera. <laughs> Dude, you made me cry, man. Like, you made me cry in that one episode when... The one, the pregnancy when, yeah, one? Yeah, the pregnancy one. I don't know. You Which, just... Yeah. You, did, you sold everything really well. It was the episode when you're like, um... If you want to go on a diet... Or, yeah, we're both going to die. We're both pregnant, it, essentially. Yeah. That was really cute. Everything okay? Yeah, so sorry. I, I'll just take the laptop outside because apparently the light and network is better outside. That's cool. Oh, okay. okay, are we going to stop for a second? We're, or we're just going to move things. Oh, we're just going to move things. We're just going to just a live take action. A That's great. There we go. Oh, now yeah, you can see we your can face. See you. Oh, oh wow. God. You look so much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at that handsome face. You better. Clean shaven. You could take us anywhere today. <laughs> Don't okay. listen to that. Do we still have, we still have internet? <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, uh, uh, when they narrated the episode to us, uh, uh, it was quite a... Because I didn't know how they're going to shape it up and how they're going to... I know what was going to happen in the episode, but I didn't know how Vishwapati would achieve it. Because it's a rom-com and everything is so nice and sweet so far. But when he read the episode, we were as shocked as the audience. Oh, really? Uh, so I didn't want to prepare too much for the episode and I just wanted to let it happen when it happens. Oh, okay, so who are you watching the uh, episodes with? Who are you watching TVF with? When you see it for the first time, who are you watching it with? Are you watching it with family? Or are you watching it with the crew? No, no, I generally, the day they release the episode, I, I watch it on my phone. I watch it on my phone in my room. I don't watch it with people. Because then you tend to get influenced with, you know, whoever else is around. And if they are laughing, then you think it's more funny. So I watch it objectively. Then I call... Uh, the writer and the director and I have a word and then I like this and I think we could have done this better and, and, mm -hmm. then, oh, no. and I give my own review of what I thought could have been done. They okay. don't take me seriously but I still give it. <laughs> <laughs> Biswal Pati, he's pretty hard on himself, right? The writer? 
He seems like he's hard on himself. Like he's always trying yeah, to affect yeah, yeah. it. He's so nice though. Yeah, yeah, he's rigorous. <laughs> Yeah. He's a he's a very dense writer. Like every scene and every moment that he writes, there's a full theory to it and there's a story to it. Yeah. So I mean, he just he's incessant. He just keeps writing all the time. Yeah. I also write, but I'm probably not as hardworking as him. <laughs> I kind of think a lot and then I write one day. He writes every day. Wow. That's something. This might be t tough to answer, but because you were just talking about how you kind of are critical of yourself, what episode or what thing of tripling, parched, and permanent roommates? Is the thing that you wish you could have done better or different? Do you have I any... thought Parched could have done better. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought for me the character was so one dimensional when I read it and when I was performing it. So I thought I, I just played it on a very, on, on a single note. I thought I could have done something more, more interesting with that part. I mean, I did the right thing, there was nothing wrong with it, yeah. but I didn't do anything interesting with it. It would have been fun if I could have gotten some, achieved some quirk to it. Hmm. Uh, so, so but that's yeah. what I, I. But I mean, to that, I liked what you did with it because it was understated. It was very like, yeah. especially compared to like Mikesh or the character in Tripling. Yeah. It's like very understated, and it's like I, I thought it was really cool because it felt so real. I mean, how did you feel yeah. when you were watching yeah. it? Yeah, it, yeah, I think we made a comment before. It wasn't like that character was over the top heroic. It's mm -hmm. very believable. Like he was, yeah. he kind of had his mission, and he was coming in, and he was being serious and realistic about what the situation was, and trying his best. Yeah. Yes. If you had a chance to go back and almost like make it quirkier, like you said, I mean, I'm sure you've thought of a bunch of things already afterwards. What kind of things do you think you would have tried to have add, added? No, uh, it's actually, it's it's not about what I play. It's the choices that I'm making these days. I, I end up playing the nice guy all the time and I'm kind of sick of playing the nice guy. <laughs> I want to play... Uh, <laughs> so because everything that I'm doing, I you know, because I look like a nice guy, so when people cast me as a nice guy and I'm kind of sick of it now yeah. so I'm just dying to like shave head off or paint it blue or something and then you know do <laughs> okay. something easy <laughs> you're a little harder in tripling you're a little bit more colder in tripling at least in the mm -hmm. beginning with your brother right yeah I'm yeah. still a very nice guy so yeah you're still you know, at the, like, I mean, still yeah yeah like clean cut he was kind of by the book it's a gift man it's disarming I'm sure it works in real life with the ladies <laughs> <laughs> it oh, I didn't work with hope. I did work with hope. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, we got, we got, oh no, it froze. We got, we, got, we got frozen for a second. Hold on. Is it, is it, okay, there we are. There we're, we back. Are. Okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Right at that moment, yeah. man. Yeah, I know. It's, good. it's okay. It, it kind of it worked with hope. She just didn't. She just wished that you were nicer. That's all. In the character. In the character. I love you as an actor. I believed everything you did. So all my hate is more towards just the story and with storyline. The fact that I can hate your storyline is yes. great because it means I was not hating your acting. <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. There's levels to this. <laughs> they were both saying that you're cute the whole time, so. Yeah, no, I, I, like the, I like the character of Mikesh, but sometimes he would drive me crazy, but I think that's the whole charm. I think he drives Tanya crazy, but he's so adorable yeah. and so uh -huh. sweet that, you know, you're just like, well, I can't be mad at you. I mean, I want to be mad at you, but I can't be because you're adorable, you know. <sighs> If that even makes sense. He's like, <laughs> can, can, can you hear us okay? I'm so sorry, the, the network is horrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you want to reconnect? Let's, let's try and get better network. Okay. Are we going, oh, we're going on another tour? This is I'm trying to get into a better network. You should. Okay. You should yeah, yeah. Tour. yeah. Looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's the lady behind you? <laughs> Who is in the room with you? Maybe. Uh, that's my manager, Shilpa. Hi. She, oh. Hi, Hi, Shilpa. Shilpa. Hi, Shilpa. Hi. Hi. You look beautiful. You're doing good things, Shilpa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try reconnecting because it's like. You're gonna hang up on him? Yeah, I have to. Don't, don't hang up on Samit. <laughs> <What are we laughs> don't hang up on Samit. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try reconnecting. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hang okay. up and, and reconnect. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> no. It's me. <laughs> My heart is so happy. <laughs> I'm never letting you go. <laughs> I feel like stop being weird. Why did I wear my silly earmuffs? <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. Cool. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we can okay. see you. Now we can see you. Awesome. Okay. So I had a question. Because uh, hmm. you mentioned that when, when you did that final episode, you just kind of, you didn't want to overwork it. And you just wanted to let things be and, and go with the moment. Is that usually how you approach 
your acting, you know, your craft, or, you know. Oh, Lord, frozen. Damn Skype. Okay, there we go. We're back. Yeah. What's your, <laughs> what's your what's your usual way of working? I'm really interested. In. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not awkward at all. <laughs> think too much before a scene because what tends to happen is, uh, uh, if you prepare a scene too much, then you go into the scene with a lot of preconceived notions about how you're going to do it and how people act to you. And then you're not present in that situation. You already have a, a set uh, pattern as to how, how you're going to react to things. So I rather just read the situation. I know what's going to happen. So and then I don't prepare too much. I in fact distract myself from the situation so that when I when I go and perform it, I'm I'm totally in it, and then things are happening to me uh, rather than. <laughs> Damn Skype. So that even when things don't go right, if somebody somebody improvises or somebody does something wrong, I can still play along and you know take things forward and and use that and this. It makes it more interesting. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like that. I'm gonna try one thing real quick. I'm gonna try switching networks, okay? So it might disconnect. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay, kind of. Oh, look, there we are. Over there. Yeah. If, if nobody move. <laughs> nobody breathe. <laughs> We're all just smiling at each other. <laughs> it was worse with Nitty. Tell it her I it say completely hi. disconnected oh. so many times. So it was really annoying. Oh, yeah. ooh, Nitty said that you have such a big fan following. What's been your craziest fan moment? I've actually not had crazy, uh, <laughs> crazy fan moments I have not had. Uh, I do end up getting a lot of friend requests and then uh, and a lot of tweets and then sometimes I am not able to reply to it with everyone and then they get upset and then they just start sending hate tweets. Uh, <laughs> Why would they do that to you, though? Because they take it personal. Yeah. It happens to me too, man. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> and then sometimes the hate mails are like really elaborate. Like there was there was like a two-page hate wow. mail of this horrible How person. How cool I... that somebody took the time to write about how yes, much sure. they hate you. Like that means they care so much. I yeah. Don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's cool. Don't judge me. I think it's cool in a way. That does not mean everybody. Who, who, who has been your favorite character to play so far? Uh, in in uh, permanent roommates. Uh, uh, permanent roommates, uh, Parks and, and TVF tripling, because those are the only ones I've seen. If, if you're if you're still here, I don't know if you're here. Okay, there we go. We're back. We're back. Okay. Tripling. My favorite character was my younger brother because I wrote it. I wanted to write. I mean, it, it was the writer's favorite character because uh, it was so quirky and it was a lot of fun and he gets to do all the cool stuff. Mm -hmm. well, no, what was your favorite character to play? Mm, it is stuck. <laughs> Damn Skype. Damn Skype in the face. <laughs> there we go. Are we back? Okay. What was your favorite character to play? In Tripling, it was the younger brother, Chitwan, because, uh, because it was the writer's favorite character. He gets to do all the crazy stuff and yeah. he gets all the funny lines. In fact, even on set, I was constantly improvising funny lines for him because uh, <laughs> because I couldn't. So I wanted him to have all the uh, all the fun. And uh, yeah. permanent roommates, I I like Mishra's character. Mishra plays the cab driver. And, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yes. Isn't he like a director also for TVF? Yeah yeah. He directed the first two three episodes for the second season and then he kept coming in and out. He was actively involved in writing the second season, so yeah. Cool. Okay, so when you're not shooting stuff and being a nice guy on camera, <laughs> what are you doing for fun? Are you playing video games? Are you at the gym? What are you doing? For fun, I... Uh, actually, this year I've not had uh, much time to do anything. Aww. So I took off on a vacation last week. Uh, I went to Himachal Pradesh, to the hills. Okay. And I went paragliding and I booked a tree house and I stayed there alone and I just didn't want to do anything for a week. So I took my films and I, I, I chilled and I scored some stuff and yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so funny because you seem like such a social guy in the, in the TV shows, but in real life you're kind of like, you like to just have your alone time and, yeah. just, and just meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Refocus. Yeah. I'm actually not as fun as Mikesh. I I love so much because uh, because then I get to be this person that I'm not. It's it's so funny. So what was like your your uh, what do you do to find like the quirks for each character? Because like Mikesh is such a specific character, and it's like you're nothing like him in real life. Like it's two totally different people. 
So how did you find the quirks for that specific person? Like, or is so it just I, all in the script? So a lot of it is in the writing. Uh huh. Oh goddamn Skype! Come on Skype, don't let me down, It'll buddy. Come through, don't worry. It's just. I think uh, I have goofy in life, uh, so I tap into that, and then I I observe a lot of people. Like I have a friend who does this. Who has this habit of speaking his mind? Like if he's, if he's on a phone call with me, and if if you're talking about a play and and what are we gonna do for the show, he'll also include that. Okay, so now the maid is all turned up, and and now I, I put the geezer off, and then now in the evening we have rehearsal at five. So he's giving me all the information that is not required. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very, very superfluous. Fun. That's funny. How yeah. about for tripling? So me and my co-writer Akash Khurana, mm -hmm. we both have siblings. Uh, he has a younger brother who, who's crazy, who's a party animal. <laughs> and uh, I have a sister who's a lot like uh, uh, Manvi's character in Tripling, yeah. so we kind of borrowed from that. I, I was just fascinated with writing my character Chandan uh, because I thought it'd be funny if somebody's gotten divorced and he's got money in alimony and he's still depressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. What's your favorite film? Uh, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. What? Oh, wow, nice. Wow. Oh, I love you. <laughs> what, what about that makes it your favorite film? I, I love that movie. Kate Winslet? I think it's, a, it's such a romantic film because uh, the, the one line is so interesting. No matter how, how hard you try to delete the memories of yeah. your love, but if you're meant to be with someone, then you will be with that person, no matter how. Like the universe will conspire and, and they bring you back together. Right. Uh, and it's so beautiful, and it's I love the way they've done it. I especially love one part in that film, which which is not a big moment, but when they're deleting uh, Jim Carrey's memories, yeah, and he wants to hold back right. some of the memories, right. and he realizes that it's getting deleted, and then he I think taps on one memory and he says, just let this one be, you know, don't yeah. don't delete this one. Yeah. And I it just broke my heart. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you direct as well? I do. I direct plays. I've directed a short film called uh, Haircut. It's on YouTube. Oh. Uh, I also wrote it. I wrote a lot of short films before I got into this because I, I had a lot of time. Uh, I wasn't getting any acting jobs. So me and this friend of mine, we started writing and directing short films together. We were just doing it for free and we would sell it for 30, 40 grand, whatever. And then... Sweet. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. Would it be all right if I did a reaction to hairspray? Is that what it's called? Haircut. Hair, 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 haircut. Is it okay if we do a reaction to haircut? <laughs> please, please do it. I'll it's do one it. of my favorite films. It's, it's now it's garnered some three, four million odd views, and it's oh, become wow. pretty popular. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. So you don't it's do about this guy who goes to a fancy hair salon for the first time. This is, and and all the all the stuff that goes around. Like when I went to a fancy hair salon for the first time, I was fascinated. Yeah. <gasps> Because in India, a hair salon is supposed to be like a very, you know, it's really cheap. If you go to a normal barber shop and uh -huh. they cut your hair for like 30, 40 rupees. And suddenly one day I walked into this, this salon and it looked like a showroom. It looked like some art gallery. It was such pretty looking women and then they wanted to wash your hair and they cut your hair. <laughs> and then I'm like, what is this place? Yeah. I just want to get a haircut. What, what's happening here? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I wrote a film about that. That's really cool. So you don't do short films anymore? Do you, do you think you'll ever go to like feature films or anything like that? I am going to start shooting for another feature film. Okay. And eventually, yeah, I would like to write and direct films. I, I like it when I write and I see things happening and I see people reacting to my writing. It's, it's a lot of fun. Is there, is there any room for a, uh, a half Asian, half white guy from America? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, next question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hurry along, hurry along. <laughs> I'm trying to hit up everybody, man. I, ha I have no shame about it. <laughs> I told Biswa Party to... Say, say again? He said you shouldn't be ashamed. Uh, yeah, you no. should. I told... You must always tell people that you want to work with them. You know, I, I learned this lesson very hard. Yeah. Aww, can so. I ask a question? Yeah. Okay. okay. If there is a season three of Permanent Roommates, what would you like to see out of Mikesh and oh, like their question. relationship? It's kind of left at like a sad moment. Like, what do you want out of your life in that story? I don't know. I, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> right? I definitely, <laughs> I definitely want them to travel and not be in the same house again. That's I want cool. them to go out because, you know, they've not gone out. Like, with tripling, the whole idea was to, to go out and yeah. go to Rajasthan. 
and go to the hills. And so I would really like to see how how Mikesh behaves if he's out on a holiday, like in action. <laughs> uh, cool. You know, maybe New York or I don't know, yeah. some place. Of, and then I want to see how he reacts to things. Yeah, I think it left at a really cool place to where I'm interested in, like a season three and where their relationship goes now, yeah. and like where the story unfolds. Yeah. I don't know. Like how to fix it. Yeah. Well. It's been. It was yeah. so traumatizing. Oh. experience. I was traumatized. Oh, okay, okay, I got a question. So, um, did you, did everybody in the crew know that it was going to be written that the baby dies? Uh, did everybody no. know that? Okay. Like, when did you guys find out? How did you, how did, when, when, when did you know that that was going to come? When there wasn't a heartbeat. I mean, I mean we, were, we were talking about it. Basically, by the time we wrote and, uh, by the time the second episode came out, I realized that you know, we have such a beautiful series and I told Bisupati that uh, I think we can do more seasons with this. I can, we can have a longer life with this. Was it and your idea? Was it your idea to kill the baby? Not my idea. I was just discussing as to what do we do with this now, now that she's pregnant. Because once the baby comes out, then it, like it happens in life, everything. Oh my God. Why Skype? Why <laughs> Skype? I think oh, there we go. Come back. Sorry. Okay, exactly. there we go. Okay, start. So say again. When the baby yeah. comes, when that's baby, where it cut out. Yeah, when the baby comes out, what'd you say? I said once the baby's out, then everything is going to be about the baby. That's it right. has to right. be. In, mm -hmm. Like it's in, it's in life. I mean, everything is around, your life revolves around the baby. So that's the call we need to take. And we started contemplating as to what can we do and how can we still retain these two people and, and their story. Yeah. So then I think by the time the third episode came out, I think we started bouncing this idea that what if... Ah! Y'all are evil, man. I love it! Y'all are so evil. I love the evil! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I mean, it's, it's, it. it's such a horrid idea that we didn't know how to say it to each other also. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like hinting at each other. Until yeah. like the yeah. other person said it. Yeah, and then Bisso started researching as to, uh, and what he came, the one line of it was very interesting. Like, it's not like bad things happen to bad people. Uh -huh. A lot of bad things happen to good people. People who are, you know, pure at heart and do, do everything right. But still a lot of bad things happen to them. In spite of all the care that you take, sometimes things don't go right. He said, what if something like this would, would happen? And someone we know also had a miscarriage and he was a really nice person. Someone, one of our very close friends around the same time. So, so we said, okay, if it can happen to him, then it can happen to, to Mikesh and Tani as well. Who is your favorite or most inspirational actor? I, I really like Joaquin Phoenix. I really? I loved her. Wow, okay. He's a really interesting actor. Uh, I love Jim Carrey. I think there's more to him than just the comedy that he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm yeah, so okay. glad that they cast him in oh. Eternal Sunshine and I wish I get to see more of him. Daniel DeLewis, oh, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah, okay, That's, cool. My idea is I just want to be Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Great <laughs> <laughs> timing. That's how I want to grow old. Yeah. I want to wear shades everywhere. <laughs> do you do you ever plan to try to uh, try your hand at acting in the states? I did. I I did a film called uh, English Winglish. Oh, uh, is that you? You're in that? Yeah, I play a Pakistani cab driver in it. Oh, okay, uh, I'm definitely gonna watch that now. I didn't know that. Was, I didn't know you were in that. Yeah, I, I spend a lot of time in New York, so I, I went around a little bit to see how it works. Uh, but I guess, I mean, it definitely takes more time and you need to invest more time and get an agent. So yeah, I'm, I'm really considering doing that and trying to get an agent and see if things can, more Indo-US collaborations can happen. Yeah, yeah. that would okay. awesome. Awesome, man. Um, thank you so much for giving us your time today, man. I really, really appreciate it. It was super nice of you. Thank, and thank you so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch English of English. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. I, I, you're, you're doing great work, and I, I'm looking forward to all the stuff you, you continue to do. And um, ho hopefully, hopefully, I can be in your movie someday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Have a lovely day. Yeah, have a lovely day, man. It's great chatting to you. Have right. fun in traffic. Have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, take care. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Okay. So that was pretty awesome. You guys were largely quiet. 
quiet? <laughs> I'm sorry, someone was just chit-chatting away. It was just going, yeah, yeah. Like fire, fire, fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna interrupt the yeah. question. I'm just like, hey. But he, he, just he's just so, you know, he is. Yeah, he was, he's so, <laughs> he's, he's so much more chill <laughs> yeah. than I was expecting. Super chill guy, because he's always playing these kind you of think he was like, gonna be more high energy or something, or what? Well, because I watched him for two seasons of Permanent Roommates. I saw three episodes of it, by the way. So oh, you I did? get a little bit of like, did you see the baby? Like, oh my God, you don't know the baby No, I didn't guys. see, I didn't, yeah. Oh, I mean, oh. now I know. Yeah, so sorry. I was like, in my head, I'm like, ruined. I know, sorry. Whatever. Yeah, no, but like his his range is pretty crazy, and so yeah. and just to see how chilly is, I'm like, oh, okay. I feel like he's, he's more like his character in tripling. I think it makes sense because then they're like the quiet, observing types that can yeah. do a bunch yeah, of different right. things. You're totally watching. not in camera, by the way. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was getting way too. So comfortable. this is my review. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Style. Uh, it almost reminds me of Johnny Depp in a way, because Johnny Depp's kind of the same way, where mm -hmm. he's very subdued in the, his interviews, very chill, and then he comes out and does these kind of crazy mm -hmm. characters. But it's right. interesting to me that he's like sick of playing the nice guy. <laughs> I love that. He's like, I want to shave my head and paint my face blue and do something crazy. I mean, we can make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> can we start like a... I a petition? Yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Make make to meet a bad guy, Bollywood. Yeah. I think you could pull it off though. I think so. Yeah, I think you could pull it off. I, really I think it would it would be more impactful coming from his really sweet face. Yeah. Yeah. I also think it's kind of funny how he's nervous to come to LA. But I feel like if he came here, he'd be really cool. Yeah. And have a career. But like it's funny that he's like, oh it'll just be different, you gotta work harder, but like well, he has a, he, no, he has a point. He has a point. Like, yeah. there's a lot of people who are famous overseas that try to get work over here that like can't get work. Yeah. And, and it, it's hard. Like, he, he he does have a point there. But I think you're right. Like, he would do well. I mean, he's 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 a very unique. He's like he's tall. He's handsome. And like, not there's not a lot of Indian guys over here that that look like him and, mm -hmm. and can perform at the caliber that he does. Yeah. So. Like the entire cast of Permanent Roommates. Great. Yeah. Thank you to the 200 or so of you that bought the shirt from Shield of Destiny wow. because it sponsored our second camera today, basically. Yay. So that's so cool. Uh, she, she, yeah, Shield of Destiny basically gave us just enough money to hire a camera guy to man second camera. <laughs> Pretty awesome. He's really cool. Can you say that? <laughs> <laughs> so please uh, be sure to pick up your shirt of shield at shieldofdestiny.com. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Check out other reactions, reviews. We didn't even do a reaction. We reacted to Mikesh today. Were we supposed yeah. to do a reaction? <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. Oh, I was no. like, I did a lot. No, it's just so it's so <laughs> it's such a habit to say the same thing. Oh, okay. So yeah, but you guys, please subscribe to the channel. Check out our reactions, reviews, short films, video game related videos, and our other conversations with other people. Uh, Bizzle Potty. And Nitty. Nitty. I keep wanting to say Tandu. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Jolie Robinson. Hope James. Peace out.